Half of the members of the Budget Super Committee met separately last week to find a deal that both parties can agree to. South Carolina Democratic Congressman Jim Clyburn is a member of the Super Committee, which is set to hold an open hearing this afternoon. Congressman Clyburn, welcome back to The Daily Rundown. Well, thank you so much for having me back. Well, let me ask you this. You're not a part of this sort of subgroup, if you will. So is this a super duper subcommittee of the super committee that is cutting a deal? What's going on here? Well, I've read some of those uh, uh, comments, but you know, uh, there are various uh, areas of expertise uh, that uh, uh, committee members have. Uh, and I think that what we're uh, seeing here is that people with certain expertise uh, on the committee uh, are uh, meeting uh, and uh, at our suggestion. So there's not any kind of uh, rump meetings uh, taking place, uh, but um, if there are uh, sticking points that need to be discussed and there are people with various expertise that others right. uh, may not have, uh, there are in fact meeting uh, and um, the composition uh, differs with whatever the issue may be. Have you been in one of these subgroups? What have you guys, what have you broken yes, off and done and who have you met? Uh, well, we have met among ourselves, I won't identify exactly who, but as you know, uh, I uh, do have a pretty extensive background in infrastructure stuff. Uh, I'm a big proponent uh, of job creation. I've made that uh, a part of what I think you know, in that Washington Post op-ed piece I wrote before we ever started meeting. I thought the job creation ought to be a part of this. And, and so uh, we are looking for various ways to do deficit reduction, not just to do cuts, but to do deficit reduction. That means job creation. Uh, that mm -hmm. means uh, smart cuts. And that also means a raise in revenue. And so the extent to which uh, my background allows me to right. participate in sub-meetings, I do. I want to know what the role of the leadership on both sides has played. I want to play for you something Speaker Boehner said yesterday about the Super Committee while in Louisville at the Mitch McConnell Center. Here's what he said. Common ground doesn't mean compromising on your principles. A common ground means finding places where your agenda overlaps with that of the other party, uh, locking, it, locking arms and getting it done. First of all, do you agree with that sentiment, that basically what he's saying is there's a, we're not compromising, you're just finding places where you agree. Do you believe there is a distinction? Well, it's a distinction without a difference. Uh, Any time uh, you are looking for overlaps in the, uh, uh, and that you might call uh, a common ground, uh, that is uh, giving up something uh, that uh, you might not otherwise give up, which that means compromise. And so, well, do you believe uh, the Republicans? The do you believe the Re do you believe the Republicans on the Super Committee are are willing to compromise? Well, I won't uh, categorize uh, of what I feel about the committee members because I might uh, uh, step out of bounds here. But let me just say this. Uh, I adopted uh, as part of my uh, way of life uh, South Carolina's motto, uh, which is Dumb Spiro Spiro. As I breathe, I hope. Uh, and I have tremendous hope that the members of this committee uh, are trying to find a meaningful resolution of this problem, and I have great faith and confidence in each and every one of them. So I'm pretty upbeat about what we're doing, and I would not want to uh, put a label on any one of them. Uh, Senator Patty Murray, who is the Democratic uh, co-chair, if you will, of the Super Committee, said that Social Security was being talked about. Social Security reform, possible cuts, possible changes in Social Security was still on the table. Is that your understanding? Well, you know, I've talked about Social Security going in, and I've been talking about it for two or three years. Uh, I think that we can look at all of this stuff uh, entitlements, be it Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, look at it all and see how we could uh, extend the life. Uh, I would like to see a Social Security made solvent uh, for 75 years out into the future. I would like to see about 45, uh, at least 40 years uh, on uh, Medicare. And there are ways to do this. Remember, uh, last year, we extended the life of Medicare right. by 14 years with what we so did. You, uh, we you didn't may get do credit some... for it. If, I'm sorry? You may do some things. You may make some changes to Social Security. 
Well, I don't know uh, whether we will or not. Social Security uh, really is not within our forte uh, for this committee. Uh, the entitlement stuff in this committee uh, is in, uh, limited to uh, Medicare and Medicaid. Social Security uh, is not what we are uh, mandated to do, uh, though uh, I wouldn't mind seeing us take a look at how we could uh, uh, make it, uh, 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 you know, extend its life and uh, make it much more. But um, that's not anything that uh, we are mandated to get involved in. All right, and very quickly on fundraising, you have had or planned 12 fundraising events between now, between August and November 23rd. No other member of the super committee uh, has four on the books. Are you concerned that that uh, you've had too many? Have you dialed any of them back? Do you have a a way that you're vetting these so that there doesn't have any appearance of conflicts with the issues that you're dealing with in the super committee? Well, you know, Chuck, uh, one of the big debates we have in government, especially when it comes to service, is the debate of volume versus value. Now, I don't know why people are interested in 10 or 12 people meeting for breakfast, and I do that pretty often. And they seem to think, because I do that 10 or 12 times, that that is more ominous than someone having one fundraiser and making twice the amount of money at that one fundraiser that I make at 12. And if you look at the checks or if you get on the telephone, my stuff is done transparently. People look at it. I post it. I make it uh, public. And I think that's much better than having secret telephone conversations. And, and you'll see the members of the committee are out raising me two to one. Uh, and that is as it's always been. Uh, I'm like this turtle. You know, I collect turtles and I keep them uh, all <laughs> over my office. Uh, I'm slow right. and deliberate, but I get there. <laughs> all right. Congressman Jim Clyburn, Democrat from South Carolina, member of the leadership, member of the super committee. Thank you very much for coming on, sir. Thank you so much for having me. All right.